Hey alright guys, Trish Munters Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 19. I stumbled over my words a little bit there, but episode 19 of One Tree Hill season 6. We're kind of getting towards the end of the season now, and last episode, I mean, we had a dog eating Dan's heart, <laughs> which is great. Uh, we did. It was a bit of a mixed bag, we did have some really good scenes, and then there's still some scenes and storylines in there that, like I said, I'm just not fully invested in. I think all the storylines are okay, at best. Uh, which is, I mean, I guess you'd rather that than there'd be like, I don't know, would you rather two great storylines and two terrible ones, or just have everything? I think I'd rather have like at least two great ones, because then at least you're like, in, like really invested in the season in some way. I think with this season, I've just been, I've just been kind of smooth sailing it, just like, yeah, brisk waves. <laughs> been no like real waves in this season so far. It's been, it's been a season, um, but I'd take this season over season five any day. So episode 19 hopefully we can just start to really pick up for these final few episodes because i believe after this one uh so after this episode we have three five so getting very very close to the end now so episode 19 if you enjoy remember to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and if you do want the early and uncle reactions to one tree hill then link to the patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below where they will be probably on the last season <laughs> by the time this one's on youtube but for now let's do this what what now, God? <laughs> God, these, these intros, it's like we had The Sims last step and now we've got Luke's nightmare, which is just... Hey? Not from his point of view, so he wouldn't even, that wouldn't even be his nightmare. It's all... <laughs> Whatever, you know, I'm looking into everything. I do have that as a nitpick, you know, when like someone has a vision, but it's from like the cameraman's point of view, not from their point of view. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm the only one who knows. I know, I know. I should tell Brooke. Whole no secrets thing. Maybe I will. You go play. Okay. I love you. Yeah? I sort of like you too. Hmm. That's good at least. You don't know me. And you don't know me. Good times. Dude, you totally fetted me. Right. I'm sorry. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to be promoting your career. Well, it depends on what they said. Uh, they said they want more. And they're really excited about the new promotional angle. So now we're just ditching. I mean, you can have multiple artists under your label, I guess. I was like ditching uh, Mia for Haley, which makes sense. As I keep thinking I should be in third period English and wondering how my kids are doing. I can't believe she got fired. <laughs> F, F. Congratulations. You've set a new record for failing. Everyone's going to fail on purpose. Bring back the Hell yeah. Detention in my office. Directed by um. Paul Johansson. Here's how little you know. I'm not even in this class. <laughs> you shouldn't be either. Got him. Call him out, Evan Peters. Maybe we wouldn't be failing if you hadn't fired our teacher. Watch it. Or you'll be joining your friend, Mr. No Name. What well, joining? I'm saying is that he doesn't go here. Did you miss the point? Dumber, or you should have been a little bit smarter. I'll see myself out. <laughs> Rise. And just to be clear, by lesson, I don't mean throw on a ski mask and beat the crap out of her. So this is before he was in American Horror Story. And that was 2010. So it would have been just before. Now pack that bag. Dude, I'm sleeping. You could sleep in the car. Now you want to ask where we going? To find oh, Billy. To fix your broken heart. <sighs> nice. All right, now going for a lap. You know they were there for 40 minutes waiting for the actor to get in. Woo! Nice. Right. I miss when Lucas was a coach. That was actually, like, good. Hey. You haven't left yet? Hi. Oh. Did you come to say goodbye? Well, I was thinking maybe this didn't have to be goodbye. <laughs> I feel like... What does that mean? You said you didn't want to be a footnote in someone else's love story. Mm. Maybe it's time we write our own epic love story. I feel like this show likes to do is resolutions at the start of episodes, which is very strange. But what about Sam? Yeah, you can't, I really. can't leave. Sam's more important than Julian, 100%. Yeah, I thought you too. So I got another ticket. I agree. Oh, God. No, you're going to come up with a million reasons why you shouldn't. So I'm just going to give you this one why you should. This store's bad. Oh, God!
Don't go, please. Guess what? Your ex-boyfriend just asked Sam and I to go with him to LA tonight. Jake? <laughs> Isn't funny. I, I miss Jake. Good times. We're going to be fine, okay? You should go. We came back here for each other, be so Yeah, last you season. Came back here for me. I feel like we've sped through five and six very quick. Because the boy that I loved asked me to be with him, and I said no. That wasn't you. Yeah, you. whatever. We've been down that road. Okay. Call it whatever software. you decide to do, I want you to know I love you. Right, I did the premiere April 25th, May, June, July, August, September. Five, under five months, four months and a half ago, I did the premiere of season five. God, that's gone so quick. But four months and a half sounds about right, to be fair. When I was your age, Jamie, you used to be my favourite place in the whole world. Why? <laughs> this is your great uncle Keith's auto shop. Yeah, I was kind of good when this got shut down. Worry about all the things that could go wrong? Of course. Just <laughs> stay off the internet. It's full of horror stories. <laughs> Haley looked up yeah. one of her symptoms one time and was convinced Jamie was going to be born with two heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe next season. <laughs> Jamie, you want to help me pull the Mustang in? Cool. Mustang, sell it. Of course. Oh, we managed to get out of bed. Wow. Hey, did you get one of those for me? Thanks. I need it. <laughs> And so exhaustingly. Thank God I have this nice cuff cafe coffee. But I don't. Skills Gigi goes there. I don't know. You just asked her and told her you was rolling through. Oh, we're going to Gigi. And she texted you back and said how excited she was to see. Dude, where's my phone? Bam. <laughs> Your ass is so fine. Wait, I thought we were going to Millie. I guess not. Gigi's the reason I lost Millie in the first place. No, you the reason you lost Millie in the first place. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, skills. <laughs> now, look, you're not the only one that needed this trip. Do it for me, okay? The second you want to bounce... Maybe Gigi's the one, I don't even know. You dirty little freak. <laughs> that one came from her. <laughs> yeah, Mal's such a dirty little freak, I guess. Maybe just a freak. Why aren't you guys in school? Rimka's kicked us out. Sorry, but I can't have two students in my house during school hours. Good. Because it's not just us two. <laughs> the teacher has come to apologize. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, just before he called out his older students. Who cares? I mean, nobody likes her. She doesn't even know our names, and she's a total bitch. Ooh. Hey, watch your language in my house, Missy. Listen, <laughs> I really appreciate you guys' initiative and your heart. Thank you. But this is not the right thing to do. You have to go back to school. We all know Rumpka screwed you, and she's wrong. I love how quickly this turned around. It's like she got fired last time, now all the students were in a room. How about we disagree with you, and you learn to work with us? Because we're not leaving here until you... This has ever happened. Has anyone ever done this? Like, just showed up in a teacher's house. Right. Oh, that's Gigi, then. You see Gigi around here? Yep. How's that, Gigi? We gotta do a cab stand. Gigi, it's still light outside. You know? <laughs> Too late, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good job, Jamie. The uh, what's the piano girl's name? Madison. Dad. <laughs> you know, Jamie. You silly mouth. Billy. Excuse me, all the time about Peyton. Really? Why? Well, I was just what guys do when they work on cars together. They tease each other about girls, you know. <laughs> yeah, just a classic scenario. It's like your dad here. You know, he had to trick your mom into liking him by pretending he needed tutoring. I wasn't pretending. I was dumb as a post, Jamie. You're still not great, Nathan, but it's fine. Whatever happened to Aunt Lindsay? Ooh, calling out the big guns. <laughs> All right, buddy, you ready? One, two, two three. I like this. Uh, Little bromance. We got some Nathan and Lucas bromance and Jamie tagging along. Having fun, Riley? Oh, okay. You're not that drunk. You're not that drunk where you're imagining people. Like, God, maybe shrooms, but... <laughs> The least crazy. Yes! That's it. Did you read the book? I saw the movie. 
<laughs> I mean, it still works. Catch 22, it's another contradiction on how messed up the world can be. Ta da! From Guess Had Made of This Interesting. We I love it. It's a teacher. You can tell I've invested you years. Did you come by to beg me to stay? Do, do, I and to piano. Why? Did she? I really hope you're serious. Because she hasn't been serious about anybody in a long time. Uh, yeah, true. I was going to say, oh, but that wasn't serious. since the day I came to town. Because you looked like you had an axe to grind. Maybe I did. She came wrong. And became more you But somewhere that. along the line, this place changed me. Brooke changed me. I told Brooke I love her because I do. I invited Sam because I want us to be a family. A family? God! You've... I, I get it. It's Brooke Davis, but jeez. For the record, I do believe you, so... I can't believe I like ginger shots. I hope it works out. This season? I'll say this season. It's been like three seasons. You look like a redhead. You know, bad thing suits her. So it means Owen's out of the picture? Uh, Owen had a problem with Owen's... Sam. Owen's... Yeah, being well, long gone. Let him in. So he let himself into my assistant? Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Oops. You know, when you left for New York, sometimes I wish I'd gone after you. So you're saying I should go? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Chase and Brock. And eventually I found Mia, and she's been great. Oh, Chase and Brock. So Easily. I guess I'm I'd pick Chase over Julian. I need a... Well, well, what's this? How'd you get in anyway? You're home invading. I saw the mass exodus pass my window. Back to school now. No. Can't you spend us all? Oh, Captain, no, my Captain. No, we can start with you, Mr. Daniels. Who's next? He doesn't go to the school. He said that twice. Oh, no, he doesn't go to that class. Is that right? I don't even know. <laughs> I realize I'm probably in no position to give you advice. Last I checked, you had no position at all. See, that's, that's oh, it right there. The way God. you speak to me and the way you speak to them, these are not third graders, they're young adults. Hey, guys, third period English lit is over. I'm serious. Uh, and it's not bands. my dining room, it's, it's back at school. Tomorrow I expect all of you to be back in Principal Rimkus's classroom. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. This is tragic. I can't believe this is like an actual human being. I'd like them gone by the end of the day. Yeah, I'd also like you to leave Tree Hill and go back to... I don't know where you came from. Go away. What's going on? Hey, mouth. Man, Marvin McFadden, you disappoint me. Yeah, that's tragic. Good. Alcohol? Good. Pajamas? Good. Where the hell is your head at? I hope Millie is actually doing that. Having a good time at a party or something. New York. You're going to New York after Millie, right? -o. Thank you. Yeah. You too. Uh, these two are great. I like these two. Okay, you two. Thank you so much for staying behind and cleaning up. But you have to go back to school also. Not me. I'm suspended. Is suspended. <laughs> That's pretty good. Very accurate. Come here. <sighs> this show will be sick with yeah, Keith. Keith is the best guy I knew. Question: Do you think the show regrets having killed him off at least that early on? He died in season three. Run him over. <laughs> Luke's is paralyzed. Things are so much less complicated in college. Yeah, so oh, bro. I remember walking these halls hoping that someday I'd be a sportscaster. Mm. Okay, and you, you won't quit your job. I have a full life, good friends. You definitely got that. And every night before bed, I wish that someday I'd find the right girl. Oh, Lord. Someone who loved me as much as I loved her back. That's never gonna happen, Mouth. <laughs> Just never. Everybody else has families and kids and careers. And I have this. What's wrong with this? I mean, no one's really popping in, so. I was to tell you about something really rare that I saw. Guess what it was? A unicorn. Even more rare than that. It was a group of students Shrek. who wanted to study more. They came over to my house this afternoon during school, and guess who was their leader? Sam. Hell yeah. Come since I found her sleeping in the backseat of a car. She's 
socialized. She's a solid student. She's writing. She's doing well. There's a wedding romance with Jack happening too. And they stayed behind to clean up the mess after everybody left. Ha Brooke, have a proud mom moment. That's why I wanted to tell you because you should be proud of her and of yourself. All that girl needed was a stable environment and you gave it to her. Yes, Hayley. <laughs> Sam, you have what most writers would kill for. Really? A troubled childhood? A voice. You have stories to tell. All you need is a little structure. Thank you. Can I still call you when you're in LA? I totally meant it when I invited you, too. Invited me where? Oh, did she not know? Um, I gave Brooke two plane tickets for you guys to come with me to LA. When? Tonight. But then she'll have to leave Jack behind. And as Hayley said, she's making a life here. She's doing well. Guess she didn't tell you. Well, she hasn't made her mind up yet. Why would she tell her if she hasn't... Oh. Mm. Judy in every episode is getting more annoying. and Like, it's not even annoying. It's just, like, unreasonable that everything is... Oh. You, talk, you asked her earlier that day. She hasn't even seen her. So why would she... When would she have told her? <laughs> but, um... The reason I've been dragging my heels when it comes to committing to my next record is that I really love teaching. Well, so you flip flopping because you wanted to be a singer last step. I just tell myself that Deb is the one, then she'll come back. She not, is the one. I'm all good because I know she's still out there. The right one. I just haven't met her yet. Yes, skills. Told me if a girl dumps you, she's not the one. Maybe Nathan's mom just wasn't the one. Right, where do you get off, mate? Since when? Uh, since Julian invited Brooke and me. Don't freak out. Don't go. When would you be going? Tonight. Tonight? It's like midnight. Well, that'll be pretty cool. You can't leave right? Jack behind. You're getting on. Yeah. Listen, I know this sucks for us, but... I really want to do this for Brooke. Jack, she's done so much for me. I guess you should go. Oh, and he'd be booted out of the house as well, so he's going to have nowhere to live. Better start packing. Sam. Yes, Jack. Making a move. I'm sorry about what Grandpa Dan did. Oh, yeah, they don't even know. Yeah. Oh, they do know that. We all are, Jamie. He knows. Am I still allowed to miss Grandpa Dan? Ooh, the big questions. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah. I like it here. You bring something broken and you fix it up. The wise warrior that is Jamie. That was pretty cool. Good little story on there. Well, maybe the texting I was doing before was actually with Brooke. And maybe Brooke just hooked me up with Millie's address. Uh why? So now we're stalking her. I told you this morning we was going to fix your broken heart. So, go fix it. I hope she says no still. That would, that would just be amazing. She's just like, mouth, I've told... I hope she walks in on her having an orgy. There you go. <laughs> I just... Oh, God. It'd be so funny if she just turns him away again. Oh, sorry. Um, I just came by to pick up some of my stuff. Pulling an all-nighter. Cool, the signing treatment. Real mature. Your students walked across town to be taught by you. It's hard to get them to walk down the hall for most classes. Yeah. You're reinstated, Haley James Scott. Do you ever consider... Consider what? I love teaching, but I would never sacrifice my beliefs to do it. You fired me right here in front of all my kids. Just because you could. Um, so congratulations, Principal Remkus. You made a good teacher not want to teach and good students not want to learn. Yeah, good job. Be proud of that. <laughs> oh, Haley's a boss. Uh, I can tell her how it is. She's like, yeah, you can beg me to come back. It ain't happening. I respect those morals. I think if my little brother can be such a good father, then maybe I'll be okay too. Yeah, of course you will. 
And besides, you had a hell of a head start being raised by Keith. And look at today. You're already doing it with Jamie. It'll be great. Uh, yeah, I reckon Luke, you know, Luke's has his ups and downs, but I do think it'd be a good dad and husband. Ah, uh, here we go. Nah, she's not having an orgy then. That's something that didn't happen. Millie, I've driven across the country to see you. I'm here because I can't live without you, Millicent Huxable. Lit Huxable? And I don't want to anymore. And I'm sorry. Too little, too late, bro. No, Millie. Millie! No! God, he didn't even have to grovel that much. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Sam. <laughs> they have schools in LA. You have Jack. You have a life here. This is a stable environment. I'm a survivor. I'll roll with it. You shouldn't have to keep rolling with anything. That was the whole point of you coming to live with me. Yeah, we're not leaving to go to LA with Julius Caesar. He's a great guy. He wants us all to try it out together. He's an above Let's average guy. Okay? Most people dream of this moment. Why are we already out the door? Because most people don't leave their lives behind to run off to California with someone that they have only known for a month, Sam. That's why. <laughs> what? What? He's, He's saying it. Person, a cool designer, and a kick-ass mom, but <laughs> a month. That would be like three. Yeah, we had one whole minute without music. That's pretty good. I kept the mouth shut. Give my soul. Does he need a shirt? I'm not ah, she showed up. Is that Kurt Cobain? Oh, I didn't start that. Don't want to make it up. <laughs> Don't want to let you down. He's good. She's going to give him the tickets back. She's not going to watch. One, thing is not here. Sam. Two, she looks a bit depressed. So. She's not coming. And neither am I. You're not coming. I have a life here. Sam has her life here. It's okay. It's not okay. And it doesn't... I mean... Brooke. Brooke. <laughs> bro, bro, I'm just gonna repeat my same sentence. But life's not a movie. Oh, bro. This guy's goofy, man. Films, it didn't work out. <laughs> He's so goofy. If anyone said that to you, throw up. I'm so happy she hadn't left with him. Thank God, no offense. Be a mum to Sam and live your life. Um, I guess we're not going to LA. Was he making a pyramid out of ketchup? Back? That kiss. Well, this is awkward. Yo, he spent an hour doing that probably. See how neither of those are trying way too hard. None of them. Julius, however... Oh God! I don't hate Julian, by the way. I don't think he's like the worst that this show's had, but he was good. And the last two apps, three apps. I can't feel sorry for him in this moment. I can't do it, bro. Get with Chase. Who'd have thought? When was Chase first in it? Season four. Payton should be the most. Successful out of all of them. The drawing's so What if Peyton does actually die at the end of the season? That save you? Maybe. I don't think so. I, I highly doubt. <laughs> There is a slight possibility, I, I guess. I've got, I've never really taken it so seriously that I think that maybe she could actually die. But the show has killed characters off. Like, they've killed uh, Timmy, Keith... Timmy, what? Jimmy, whatever. Um, thingy, Peyton's mom. So, characters have died. White is probably dead. I don't know where he's gone, so... He's a possibility. Um... 
because no one else really majors died, but yeah, I guess I guess it could happen. I'm gonna stay with highly doubt, but you never know. Do you have a Rachel? God, I was just scrolling through the characters and just saw Rachel pop up. That's a throwback. Uh yeah, that is episode nineteen of One Tree Hill season six. A little bit better than the last one. Still not great. The last one was a six out of ten. I'd probably yeah, I'd say this was slightly better than the last episode, mainly because I think Jamie, Nathan and Lucas were actually pretty good going to Nathan's old auto repair shop, kind of having some memories about Keith and just seeing them two be brothers and then seeing Nathan be a dad and then Nathan telling Lucas, like, oh, you were good with Jamie today, like, you're going to be fine as a dad, which I believe. I actually, again, Lucas has his ups and downs for sure, but I do believe he would be, like, a good dad to this kid that they're having, so I don't think he needs to worry too much. I mean, he's worrying more about Peyton's health more than <laughs> him being a good dad, but I don't think he needs to worry too much. Um... So yeah, that was actually pretty good. Haley was really, really good this episode. Like that, she was like the teacher was like, "Would you consider?" She's like, "No, I've got morals. You find me right here in front of everyone. It ain't happening." Shut her right down. Um, Haley was great this episode. She's been great the last couple actually, and all the students kind of going to learn from her was really quite wholesome as well. And then shout out to I'd say Jack and Sam. I actually like their little romance. I think it's not too forced, like. Julian, okay, Brooke's like a way better character than obviously Sam, Jack and Julian or whatever, but I look at Julian and Brooke and it just feels so goofy like and not natural. It did feel natural a little bit at the start, but then like Jack and Sam, it's like they're just not trying hard. They're not trying too hard. It's just like a, it feels like a natural little romance that's kind of going on. And it's like a side story. It's like this mini side plot compared to everything else, but that just feels like more natural than what Judy, whatever Julian's trying to do with his dumb little one-liners about how our life's not a film. It's like, oh, God. Like, him getting the tickets to LA, I don't mind so much, but did he really think they were going to go? I mean, it's worth a try, I guess. There's nothing wrong with that. What a waste of money. Um, but, yeah, Julian, again, I don't hate his character. I don't, I'm not annoyed at him as much as I was as at Peyton last season. Like Payton last season was way worse and Julian is, is here, for example. Because uh, Julian's not being like evil to Brooke. He's not being a bad guy. He's still a good guy, which is which is fine. I just think he ruined the romance they had. The romance that was actually pretty decent and was being built on a, on at a good pace. And he just speed ran it and rushed it. So Julian was too hard, uh, trying too hard this episode. And Mouth... Oh, God. Mouth's worse than Julian still. Going after Millie again. How many episodes has this been? Just of this Millie drama. I don't mind the drama, but it's him like going for her over and over and over. It's just like, can we drop? I mean, one, she kissed him, so I'm assuming that means it's done. They're going to be back together, and we're going to we're going to get to have more mouth than Millie having some romance. Can't wait for that. It's going to be great. So, yeah, that was the worst part of the episode for sure. And Peyton was pretty good. So. I like that Lucas said to Jamie that he can, you know, it's okay that Jamie can miss Dan as well. Because I think maybe part of Lucas was thinking, could Lucas miss Dan? I don't think he'll miss Dan, but it's more like his dad is going to die. And that still means something in some way. So, yeah, I don't think Lucas would miss Dan. I don't think even Nathan would really miss Dan, but... Because there were moments throughout the show where Lucas and Dan got on. I think it was like season two, where Lucas went to like move in with them and stuff. Like There were times, and then obviously Dan and Nathan have had a lot of moments as well, so they're probably feeling a bit of a crossroads on whether they should feel guilty for maybe missing him. Or, again, missing him is probably not the right word, because I don't think they'd miss him. But, yeah, overall, I still want to say this is a... Was it a seven? Um... The second half was a lot better than the first half. I'll give it that. But again, I'll say like Lucas and Nathan were good. Haley was pretty good. Jack and Sam were good. Even Brooke was good. It's just the story wasn't great. But Julian was bad. Mouth was bad. Skills was pretty bad. Um, yeah, it's a shame about skills. I feel like he was my... Was he at number one quite a few of the times? And now, like season four, I think it was. Skills was great, and now this season he's just kind of non-existent. I, th I still love Skills, I think he's great, but 
yeah, he's just kind of non-existent, and every scene he's in now, he just doesn't feel like he has as much of a presence as he, as he did in previous seasons, which is a shame. But this is still a bit of a okay episode for me. I wouldn't say this was great. So I give the last one a six. I'll give this one a six point seven. I think six point seven out of ten. It was close to a seven. I just needed a little bit more. I don't think it quite had it for this one. So yeah, there we go, guys. Five episodes remaining. Damn. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. Early and uncuts will be on Patreon down below. And I'll see you next time for episode 20. Until then, take care. Peace.